Hello. For this devotion, we will be using Noon Setting of Daily Prayer, page 296 in the Lutheran Service Book. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Listen to my prayer, O God. Do not ignore my plea. Hear me and answer me. Evening, morning, and noon, I cry out in distress, and he hears my voice. Cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. You will never let the righteous fall. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. For our psalm, we will be using Psalm 47. Clap your hands, all peoples. Shout to God with loud songs of joy. For the Lord the Most High is to be feared, a great king over all the earth. He subdued peoples under us and nations under our feet. He chose our heritage for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he serves. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our king, sing praises. For God is the king of all the earth. Sing praises with a song. God reigns over the nations. God sits on his holy throne. The princes of the peoples gather as the people of the God of Abraham, for the shields of the earth belong to God. He is highly exalted. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our text for meditation is John chapter 3, verses 31 to 36. This is John the Baptist speaking. So, John said, He who comes from on high is above all. He who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of the earth. He who comes from heaven is above all. And what he has seen and heard, that he testifies. But no one receives his testimony. However, the person who has received his testimony has set to his seal that God is true. For he whom God has sent speaks the words of God, for God does not give the Spirit by measure to him. The Father loves the Son and has given all things into his hand. The person who believes on the Son has everlasting life, and the person who does not believe the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So this is a continuation of John's speech to his disciples and some of the Jews who were in discussion with those disciples about what should their opinion be of Jesus Christ and Jesus' disciples? Because Jesus' disciples are starting to baptize people. So John is known for the baptism. So they're asking John, well, what should we make of this fellow right over here? And the implication can be that uh, if John says this person is the Christ, as he did earlier in uh, the Gospel of John, chapter 1, so if John is saying that Jesus is the Christ and people should follow him, then everybody should uh, go from John to Jesus rather than stay with John, uh, who has been uh, the prophet and leader of the people uh, in this area for uh, some, a little bit of time now. Um, but if John says, no, do not follow that person, or if he's... Uh, or uh, he has a legitimate ministry, but you can also follow me, well, then John would basically be uh, saying that don't follow, don't feel like you need to go after this person and stay here. But since John recognizes that his function is pointing people to Christ, pointing people to the Messiah, uh, he realizes that his own ministry must decrease, uh, that the ministry of Christ can increase, because Christ has something far greater than John the Baptist could ever hope to give. Jesus Christ has life eternal. Um, and this is present within the understanding of the baptisms, as also expressed in the book of John. So John the Baptist is 
giving a baptism for the remission of sins, so people are, who are uh, recognizing themselves as, as sinners are going to John, and they're uh, seeing him as a prophet, and they recognize that being baptized by John uh, is allowing them to have a greater understanding of what's going on. So baptism being the entryway into the teachings of John and the proper understanding of the faith. But uh, the, the baptism of Jesus Christ, which Jesus explains earlier in John chapter 3, is a baptism of being born from above, being born of heaven by water and the Spirit, so that you can enter into the kingdom of God. Therefore, uh, if you are baptized, you have the promise of salvation given to you by the Holy Spirit by way of the water. So, spiritually regenerated and by, uh, in, in baptism. So this is something greater than John can give. So if John is recognizing his proper function here, then he should uh, decrease so Christ could increase. So the, and, and that's what immediately went before. Part of this is, uh, is found in a, a side note that the Gospel has in verse 24. So... Um, so uh, John's disciples went to him, uh, for John had not yet been cast into prison. So already uh, the gospel writer, the gospel writer John, John the evangelist, is saying that John the Baptist, uh, he will decrease and continue de to decrease being thrown into prison, being thrown out of the life of the people. Um, and at that point, Jesus Christ takes over her all ministry, all proper ministry of the kingdom of God rather than um, having John still trying to continue his ministry in light of Christ. So, John is the last and truest prophet, and then we have Christ, who is himself prophet, priest, and king. So, <clears throat> how does John recognize this transition? How does, how does he recognize this transition? Well, John says, he, he, referring to Jesus, he who comes from on high is above all. He who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of the earth. So this is recognizing uh, Jesus' speech, although John probably wasn't there, although he might have spoken with Jesus before to get a better understanding of these things, but um, this is referring to the speech that Jesus had with Nicodemus. Jesus is saying that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. So. What John is hinting at here is that which comes from the earth, that which thinks about the earth, that which professes of the earth, is earthly. So if all you're concerned about is what is operating within the earth, then you will not go to heaven. So when we're saying that, for example, when we're saying that your works cannot save you, when you're going about and you find somebody who is... Um, the pinnacle of, hum of uh, moral perfection, the, the pinnacle of moral perfection here on earth. They're going about, they're serving their neighbors, they're uh, following commandments four through ten, so they're not, so they're honoring their parents, they're, they're honoring the authorities, they're not murdering, they're not hating anybody, they're, they're leading a sexually chaste life. Uh, they're not stealing, they're not speaking falsely, or, 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 uh, or uh, partially about anyone. They're not uh, going about, as we understand it, coveting anything. Coveting being a private sin, it's done in the heart, but if they're not coveting anybody, all these sins. So, say they kept uh, commandments 4 through 10 perfectly, or is this person perfect? Well, they're not doing this in faith, recognizing the first three commandments. You shall have no other gods. Do not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. If they're not doing this in faith, then although these works, works are very good, they are only earthly works. And earthly works do not get you into heaven. So this person has concerned themselves completely with what is of the earth and not what is of God. So, God leaves him to the earth, rather than, uh, because that is where his 
this person's focus is. So John continues, He who comes from heaven is above all, and what he has seen and heard that he testifies, but no one receives his testimony. So, he, he who comes from heaven is above all. Well, you just kind of have to seek the hierarchy to understand, yes, that, that, that's just accurate. So if all things come from God, if all, if things come from heaven down, then he who is from heaven is naturally above humanity. Um, in Psalm 8, off the top of my head, uh, uh, it says, What is man, addressing God, what is man that you think of him, O Lord, that you have made him a little less than the, made him a little lower than the angels? So the angels who are in heaven are above us, but not by much, because God still thinks highly of us and, and elevates us according to his will, uh, by way of creation. So when um, recognizing the heavenly, we recognize this to be above us, but we should also focus specifically on the one who has come from heaven, because the one who has come from heaven is the one who has seen God face to face. Uh, John 1, uh, 18. No one has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son who is in the bosom of the Father, he has declared him. So, um, so only the Son has seen God face to face. Uh, God the Father face to face. So when the Son comes down to us and he is testifying um, of what he has seen and what he heard, and he, he spreads this news about, he spreads what is heavenly with that, within, the, within the earth, then he is bringing that which is of spirit, that which is of God, so that people can be of God, of the spirit. And everyone who does not receive him Everyone who does not receive the Son, whoever rejects him, is focusing on the earth, not of God, and therefore remains on the earth. So even though, say, you have somebody who believes in a higher God, a higher authority, some sort of deity, but uh, rejects Jesus Christ, then they are still of the earth, for they are not looking to the things of God, but... Uh, what is of the earth, or an earthly understanding of God rather than God coming, uh, or rather hearing what God says through his Son, coming down through his Son to deliver the message to all people. Uh, this would be like, um, say, the unbelieving Jews, the, the, the Jews who have not received Jesus Christ in faith. So without faith in Jesus Christ, without the testimony of Jesus Christ, speaking who, of whom God is, uh, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God and three persons, the rejection of this triune God is a rejection of God himself, a rejection of the Son, and they are not uh, of the Spirit, but of the earth, they have re and they remain in the earth. So even though they believe in the same God the Father we do, denying God the Son and, and misunderstanding God the Holy Spirit, they are still lost, which is a very unfortunate thing. And I pray for all Jews to hear the message of Jesus Christ and to come to saving faith through him. Anyways, John the Baptist continues. So, but no one receives his, the son's, testimony. However, the person who has received his testimony, so received the word of Jesus Christ, has set to his seal that God is true. Uh, yeah, th this is an older, <laughs> older uh, version of a translation. So basically saying that everyone who has received the testimony of Jesus Christ, everyone who has come to faith through Christ, has God with them. They know who God is. They, knew, they know the truth because they have Jesus Christ who is himself the way, the truth, and the life. For he, that is Jesus, whom God has sent, speaks the words of God. So Jesus has the true words of God. Jesus has the true witness of God, and he is the one delivering these things to us. 
For God does not give the Spirit by measure to him. The Father loves the Son and has given all things into his hand. So Jesus is not simply enlightened by the Spirit, but has possession of all things, has, is the heir of all things. For the Son, whom we know as Jesus, is the Word made flesh, the one who has come down from heaven, who has created all things by the power of his word and continues to sustain them and also creates still through his word and also creating new realities, creating uh, spiritual re realities through his word by you know, using his word in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, what we say in baptism, so in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. This word spoken in Christ now changes reality, now creates a new reality where this person is baptized, washed clean by the Holy Spirit by way of baptism, so that they are now presently within the kingdom of God in faith. So, so the Spirit, uh, sorry, the Son having all things in, in his hands, having the keys to heaven in his hands, the person who believes on the Son has everlasting life. The person who does not believe the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. So, uh, th this last verse is basically making a hard-line distinction between law and gospel. Those who have not had received Jesus Christ, they do not have eternal life. But those who have received the gospel, received forgiveness of sins, received salvation through Christ, by way of his testimony, by way of the word of Jesus Christ, he is saved. He has life within him. He has received Jesus Christ, who is the, the Word, the light, which is the, the, the light of all... Sorry. Why don't I just quote the actual verse? So, uh, John 1, uh, verse is 4 to 5. So, in the Word was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, but the darkness comprehended it not. So all people who have received Christ receive the life that is within Christ, the life by which Jesus enlivened the entire world. So all things that have life came from Jesus. And if you have Jesus, you have the life which Christ continually breathes into the world. So those who do not have Christ, do not have his light, do not have uh, the freedom from sin are still those people are still lost in their sins they are without life and they face the wrath of god bringing them into death as punishment for their sins this is the witness of john the baptist um, who is preaching and teaching in the desert around judea bringing the message of jesus christ to the people and witnessing jesus who is the christ now, John presumably, and I say presumably because I'm not, I need to do a bit, little bit more research to make sure that this is actually true, uh, but from what I've seen, it is. So presumably, G, uh, John does not know who the Son is. So, John, tests, at this point in time, I mean, at this point in time. So, this is before John was sent to prison, so he's still out and doing his ministry. And, Jesus, and John says here in John in chapter 3, verse 27, um, Man can receive nothing at all unless it is given to him from heaven. You yourselves are witnesses that, that I said, I am not the Christ, but have been sent before him. So, and John has also recognized Jesus as the Christ by way of baptizing Jesus. But... The fullness of the understanding may not have set in at this point in time because while in prison, while Jesus is going out and about doing his ministry, uh, John sends some of his disciples, because John is still able to talk to people in, in prison, sending them out. Uh, he sends his disciples to talk to Jesus to say, to ask if you are the Christ or we should wait for another. So John uh, seems to not fully understand the person of Jesus, but when he's giving us the message here, he's still witnessing that, yes, that which is of the earth is earth, that which is of heaven is of heaven, much like Jesus said, 
that which is born of flesh is flesh, that which is born of spirit is spirit. So John has the truth. He has God speaking through him. But John, as an individual, may not fully understand these things. And to be fair, neither do the disciples, even after they've, they've uh, traveled with Jesus for years and years and years. Well, three years, there, thereabouts. So the disciples have been with Jesus for three years, and they still don't quite understand everything until after the resurrection. Now this kind of goes to show if we are struggling with some of these ideas, if we're still trying to understand what God is saying to us through his word, don't lose heart. It is not as though you are fa you're forsaken by God if you do not fully understand all things within scripture, but that you can continue through them. Uh, much like the disciples, much like John continued through these things, we can come to a greater understanding, and even if we do not have the best understanding, we still have life-saving faith given to us. So all of us who are connected to Jesus Christ by faith, given to us by the Holy Spirit, working through the Word and through baptism, all of us still have the salvation of Jesus Christ in us, so that we may see God face to face, see Christ face to face, in the kingdom to come, where he will give us everything we need, including a better understanding of what everything is. Amen. So, <clears throat> we continue with the service on page 296 with the Kyrie. O Lord, have mercy upon us. O Christ, have mercy upon us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, you have come from heaven to make us heaven. Please, Lord, strengthen and preserve us in the faith, and always wash us clean from, uh, and uh, yeah. always deliver us from the sins that we commit, forgive us for what we do wrong, and bring us into everlasting life. Help us not be simply of the earth, but of you. So that, in, as in your person, you are the Word, and you are also the Word made flesh, so we might be born anew by the Word in our flesh. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O Lord, Holy Spirit, who has come to us through the Word and through baptism, please, Lord, be with us, we pray. Wash us clean from our iniquity, being uh, dwelling within us and delivering us from sin, leading us to good and right actions instead of our sinful inclinations. Please, Lord, uh, we ask you to make us heavenly as Christ is heavenly and to renew us day by day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Blessed Lord Jesus Christ, at this hour you hung upon the cross, stretching out your loving arms to embrace the world in your death. Grant that all people of the earth may look to you and see their salvation. Your mercy save we pray. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.